Good morning, happy Monday. It's another week, we are up. Mason's over there eating his breakfast, getting ready for another week of school. Speaking of school, you guys, look at that bagel, first of all, it's the size of his head. <laughs> Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's trying to wake up over there. Um, speaking of school, I'm waiting. Um, Arizona is definitely hitting all of its benchmarks, especially Maricopa County. Um, I think these kids are gonna go back to school soon. So um, bars have reopened, um, movie theaters, gyms. So the way that they decided for Arizona is that they had to make a bench, meet the benchmark and then for two weeks after that, which I think we are there. I've been trying to watch the news and I just have a feeling that Mason School will be getting in touch with us soon to see about these kids getting back into the classroom. Are you ready for that? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Excited to see all your friends and everything and go to your new school? Yeah? It's gonna be different. I've kind of been used to him being home all day with me, but I, I think that they need to go back to school. I think it's time. Um, I think they just can get a better education at school. There's way too many distractions here at the house, and I also feel like teachers can't do um, their exact lesson plans with the kids being at home, especially his uh, TV broadcasting. Like I, I feel bad for that teacher because they just don't have the equipment here. They don't have the cameras. She can't teach them how to edit, all that kind of stuff. So I know that he's excited to get back to school and see his friends. So stay tuned for that because we haven't heard anything yet. Hopefully that comes sometime soon. But um, yeah, it's Monday. We are going into Labor Day weekend. So we just need to get through this week. What are you guys doing for Labor Day weekend? Any fun plans? I know a lot of you, that's your last weekend and then you guys start school after Labor Day. Like I'm pretty sure like back in Philadelphia, like Mason's cousins, I think they start school right after Labor Day. So leave a comment down below. What are you guys doing for Labor Day? Let's see, we're just, you know, the same old, same old. Lots of practice this week. I'm looking at pants. I've got to get those soaked and cleaned. Um, we are down to two pairs of pants. We actually ordered some a few days ago for Mason because we um, lost two pairs of pants. Um, the buttons like fell off. Is that what was going on, Mace? Just the pants were old, so we went back and got his, what brand do you like, the Rawlings? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we ordered him two more pairs of Rawling pants, so hopefully those will get here sooner than later so that I'm not constantly cleaning his pants. I think that's about it. It's Monday, we're ready for another week. What's going on, Mace? For a deadline, just ended. School just ended and now he's on both devices, seeing who got traded. So what's the news? Uh, How's the Dimebacks looking? Trade away like half our team. Yeah, they did. Bye-bye, no. Robbie Ray. Robbie Ray. Bye-bye, Archie traded. Bradley. Bradley's gone now. Marte, so. gone. Starting Marte. Confuse me, but my, or, uh, for Caleb Smith, I think they got him bad, but he was on a one-year left after the season, which is why I Marte. think. Marte. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I think the D-backs are going to try and tank, tank the whole entire season and try and get that number one overall pick. All right. Prior, to be honest. We'll see. We'll see. How about the Phillies? Trading. Uh, Phillies didn't do much. Didn't do much. Okay. I was hoping for a little bit more out of them and less out of the D-backs, but um, they got one bullpen guy from the Brewers. I forgot his name, though. Okay. So... All right, well. I was hoping for another one more bullpen guy, maybe like a bat in there, just to throw one in there, see mm -hmm. what it is. So yeah, he's done with school, having an after school snack, and catching up on all the trade deadlines. But I thought the Padres were gonna get Mike Trout, to be honest. Really? No. Oh, I was like, what? We're not gonna trade Mike Trout. It's I was like, joke. what? Oh. But the Padres went off this trip deadline. Oh, really? It was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Clevenger, like, so many good players. All right, shot. maybe mom should turn on ESPN. Maybe that's what I'll do, get caught up. Mm -hmm. Well, enjoy your snack. Thank you. He made his cheese crisp all by himself. A little perfect crisp, look at that. Mom taught you well. Good morning, you guys. Mason's at basketball right now. I don't know how the boys are doing it. It's so early. It's one thing to get up early, but to get up early and have to practice basketball, that's rough. It's like the people that get up and go to the gym like at four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. I don't know how you guys do it either. It's 
too early. It's too early to move the body that, like that. But I have about 30 minutes and then I have to go get him from basketball, so some coffee. And then hopefully he had a good day, or he's starting off his day good at basketball. We will see. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. You awake now? Mm -hmm. I bet. How was it? Good. Good. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. Did you do good? Yep. You ready for school now? Yeah. Yeah? Or you no, need a shower yeah. first? <laughs> school. Boo. You feel like you want to eat something? Yeah. All right. Let's get you some breakfast, get you a shower. And you know the drill. You got, well, a little bit longer than last time. They let them out right on time today, so you got about 20 minutes. So that's nice. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Mason should be walking down any second now for lunch hour. Figure out what we're gonna do for lunch today. And then I'm actually about ready to head out. I need to go to Walmart. I have a return that I need to do. And then I think you guys that this, um, we've been having like a, the last vlog, we said some camera issues. I don't think it's camera issues. I think it's this little adapter um, that has gone bad. We actually have two that aren't working, so. We're down to one, so I'm gonna see if Walmart has that. Hopefully they do, and then we need bat like a weird battery, so I'm gonna search for that at Walmart, but hopefully I can find all that instead of having to drive all the way to like a Best Buy or something, so hopefully Walmart will have that adapter. Um, and then I'm gonna grab some stuff for dinner. I think I'm gonna be able to make an early dinner tonight, possibly an early dinner tomorrow, dinner Friday, so yeah, that's what's on the list. But for now, I need to figure out one. All done? Uh-huh. Yay! Um, I think school's a little rough right now. Um, progress reports are coming out. I don't know if we're supposed to get them like towards the end of this week or next week. I think it's next week. So I think what's happening is all the teachers, um, any you know assignments, everything basically needs to be done by Friday, I'm assuming, but a lot of them said by Wednesday just so that they have two days to get grades in, which I understand because, man, if you guys are teachers, I give all my love to you guys because you guys have it rough right now, especially with the online schooling. I know it hasn't been easy for anybody, including teachers. So I think that, you know, Mason, a lot of his teachers said, get your stuff done today, um, final test, all that. Like he had quite a few tests today too. Um, that way they could probably get the, the grade book completed and get those progress reports out. But yeah, Mace, guess what I got you? Oh. You guys? Okay, so if you watched our last tournament, um, we played a baseball tournament in Wickenburg and maybe because of the rain too, he, his legs, he's got bug bites, which I'm kind of confused because he wears socks up to his knees. So can the bugs bite you through your socks? So that's the only place that I can think because yes, he's been at baseball practice, um, but same thing, he wears baseball socks. Um, basketball's indoors, so I don't think he's getting it at basketball practice. And other than that, he's home. So anyways, he's got bug bites all up and down his legs. So he asked for, I've never used this before. I don't know, hopefully it works. So we're gonna try it out, Mace. And then I, was talking about how I was going to Walmart. Um, I found one, yay! So I don't have to go to Best Buy. So I got that. And it was only like 12 bucks, so that was super exciting and cheap and good for the piggy bank. Um, I got my funky batteries that we needed, and we also were. I used the last light bulb, so I need some of that. But all right, let's get some bug itch relief stick on you, <laughs> and now we can relax. School's over, yay! Happy Thursday, everyone. You guys, I kind of did a bad thing. Yeah, you guys all know that symbol right there. I did a Target haul. Um, haven't been to Target in a long time. I mean, we, Jack, I think the last time I went to Target was with Jack, and we were looking for, I think, mask, cleaning supplies. In fact, I think we were like on the east side for a baseball tournament, and I think we just ran into a Target. I think that's the last time I've been into a Target. But I went today, and Mason's probably going to laugh at me because I went and got some decorations for the holidays because it's a right around the corner. If uh, you watched a few vlogs ago, Mason said, I cannot decorate yet. Um, I don't know when the official start date to uh, start decorating. I know some of you guys probably have, but Mason said, no, not yet, it's too soon. So. But the thing is, 
with the fall decoration stuff, you have to get on it before they're gone. So I think I did pretty good. I got some stuff on clearance too. So let me show you a few of the items that I got. This is what I went to Target for to get some new um, vitamins. I normally just share vitamins with Jack and Mason, but I think now that I'm getting older, I need to focus a little bit more on the woman's side. Um, and I heard good things about these. Kind of expensive, but we'll give them a try. Also, I needed to clean my dishwasher, give it a nice good clean, so I always like to throw that in there. And I heard good things about that for my refrigerator with my microfiber towels that I picked up, so we'll see about that. So. That's why I went to Target and then I ended up with the rest of the stuff because when you first walk into Target, you go through the little dollar store area, dollar spot, but honestly, it's more like $3, $5 now, but still good, good deals. Um, I thought this would be cute. They're risers just to kind of lift some of my decorations up for fall. You can never have enough pumpkins for fall. And look how cute. This was only $5 keep my head warm, maybe some cold baseball games coming up in the future. Um, that's super cute, couldn't pass that up. And it's glass. And this was a cute little sign. So that's like the fall stuff. And then for Halloween, I was thinking I can just even like stack some of these, like switch out this stuff for, but um, look how cute this is. So these were only a dollar. This one was I think $3. And look at this cute candle and it actually smells really yummy. So that one was $3. But I can just throw stuff up there, make it look festive. And then clothes, you guys, I did really good. Um, they're just like black jeans. Perfect for the fall, going into the fall. And then um, a jacket, like a, I've been wanting one of these. I can throw it over, you know, dresses, skirts, that kind of thing as the weather hopefully starts getting cooler. And this is a good deal too. Normally $32, I got it for $9.60. That's a steal of a deal right there. And then same thing as you start going into restaurants in the colder months. It's hot outside, but I always like to throw these in my purse because um, they have the air on still and it's just cold like when you eat dinner and stuff. The same thing, great deal. Normally $29.99 and I got it for $8.98 and it's a fall color. So hopefully it all fits. If not, it'll go back to the store. But it was fun to shop at Target. I miss shopping at Target. I miss going up and down all the um, aisles and finding the good deals and the new stuff. So much needed. I feel better. And now I need to eat some lunch because I am hungry because I skipped over breakfast and lunch. <laughs> Look who just came home or downstairs from school, but you still have a class, right? Oh, it's kind of early. I thought you were gonna make fun of me. Not even. <laughs> Here it comes. I won't put them out yet. I just wanted to get some stuff before everybody takes it off. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Do you like it though or isn't it cute? Mm -hmm. How's school going? You just uh, had PE, he's a little sweaty. I heard you up there doing jumping jacks or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One more class to go, yay! Friday Eve, happy Thursday. You're almost to a three day weekend. It's weird because I have sports all through the week, Uh huh. but on Fridays it feels like I shouldn't have school because I don't have sports afterwards. Yeah, Fridays are so your day off. It feels weird. Yeah. Yeah. Jack's about ready to go for a run. Called Mason down, he was playing video games because a couple packages to open. Um, I think I know what this is. It's for both Mason and Jack. Oh, and same yeah. thing with this box. There's something for Jack in there and then Mason knows what's in there. Oh, yeah. Clearance rack for the win. Yeah, what'd you get the shirt for? Uh, 12, 13 bucks or something. Alright, that's nice. Another baseball shirt to wear. You can never have enough. <laughs> kind of anticlimactic, but he did them because like we said in the last vlog, I believe, he busted two pairs of pants, the buttons, from washing them so many times and soaking them. So we went with a medium and a small. So once again, got to order online because the way stores are right now, plus the Rawlings. We actually tried to go to the Rawlings store. Um, it was, a, I don't know, three or four tournaments ago, but they weren't open quite yet because we tried to go on a Sunday and they had different hours because of COVID. So Mason is, um, you guys, if you ever want to know, Mason, these are the pants he wears. Rawlings. They feel like butter. They clean well. Mom approved. And it lasts. Yep. He's going for it. He's putting them on right now. Well, kid, 
You need some growing to do there. <laughs> Dang it. Um, well, I'm glad we did order one of each because yeah, I kind of had an idea because the smalls are these are adult smalls and they you know fit them perfect, perfect. like a glove. So another beautiful clearance item. Bam! Bam! <laughs> you guys are twins. One for me, one for you, my friend. So when I was ordering his um, stance of baseball socks, these popped up when I typed in baseball socks and they were on clearance. Oh, yeah. So Jack can wear them to work. So I can pair, you can pair. <laughs> and you can either wear them around the house yeah. or you probably Unless sport you're not them. them. And I can Mom take can two. No. Her mom can I'm take them. I'll take them. I'll wear them. These are awesome. I might be wearing these Those are cute. Tomorrow. Look how cute those are. If we win. No, either way. There you go. <laughs> I know. All right, Jack, have a good run. Okay. You guys, today's one of those days that everybody's going a different way. Mason's going to school for basketball, and Jack's headed to club baseball. Unfortunately, Mason's schedule, we've talked about it before. We're kind of just choosing and picking right now where he goes because literally every night it seems like he needs to be in three spots. What, what am I trying to say? Three places at one time? No, one time. What am I trying to say, Jack? I have no idea what you're trying to say. <laughs> He's trying, he needs to be at three, three places at the same time. But he needs to be at three places. Three places at the same time. Three places at the same time. We're, there we're, you go. We're in our family, you should go to one of those places. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not going anywhere. Oh. But, um, yeah, easy dinner. I saw this when I was shopping the other day, so I'm gonna throw that in the oven. And then I'm not gonna ask Jack to grill this, so I'll just do it in the skillet. Throw it together, bam, got an easy dinner. The boys are off to practice. I've got the flyers on. They are tied 4-4 in overtime. Um, hopefully the flyers pull this off because if not, they're done. They're going home. But while the boys are at practice, I think I'm going to make a treat so when they get home, I'm gonna make Rice Krispie treats but using Fruity Pebbles. So I'm gonna work on that. That way when the boys come home, we have some dessert and finish watching this game. Hopefully they can pull it off. Hello everyone, we have something super exciting for you guys coming up right now. This kid has something to open. He has no idea nope. that it's sitting at this house right now. I think he's gonna be super excited. So Jack went to go get it. You stay right there, mister. Okay. Any guesses? Any guesses? I have no clue. Guitar. A guitar? Yeah, a box guitar. Do, 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 right. do, 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 do. Mason is going to learn to play, play the guitar. Yes. You're going to play the guitar? guitar. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's going to be a box within a box. Marucci. <laughs> Are you shocked? What? At the end of um, last vlog, couple vlogs, I don't remember, a recent vlog. Um, I said we had more from Marucci coming very soon. Well, that moment is right now. Mason just opened the brand new Marucci Cat, Cat Nine. Nine. Are you excited? You yeah. ready to open that? What? So it's the Cat Nine and the Cat Nine Connect. The two newest Marucci bats <laughs> that are out here for 2020. Not one bat, but two bats arrived thanks to Marucci. Can you believe it? So the so shout out to Marucci. Yes, so shout. They reached out to us. Obviously, you saw a couple vlogs ago mm -hmm. their brother sister company Victus. Mm -hmm. We showed you that bat, and then now the new Cat Nine. But we also need to say um, the Cat Nine is available. The Cat. Nine Connect is not even out yet, so you can't even purchase this one yet. We think I gotta double check that. I think you I, can purchase them both. I just don't think the Connect will be in your hands quite yet. Quite yet, it's coming soon in the next couple of weeks. But both of them are, I believe, links will be down below to the Marucci site, so you guys can go check all that out. I'm sure, the you can pre-order. You can pre-order it, or if by the time you guys see this vlog, it they may actually be, be ready to roll again. So which bat? Is this one, Mason? This is the no, Cat Nine. Cat Nine. So that was the Cat Nine, and then this one I'm holding is the the Cat Nine Connect. And so the Can basic you. difference between the two bats is That's the Cat Nine Connect is a two-piece hybrid design. Yeah. And the Cat Nine is a one-piece alloy design. So Mason can hold those up to both in the camera shot there. So. 
connect. The connect. And the connect. Wait, show that though. See that red part at the bottom? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. That's what that is. The yep. connect yep. features yep. the new OLS connection, which is different from the previous connection, which was on the Cat 8 connect. So the OLS is the outer locking system, features a carbon composite handle that's threaded into the AZR alloy barrel and then locked into place by the outer locking sleeve, which threads on top of the handle and barrel's connection. And then the other side. So it's the first system to connect a two-piece back from the outside, creating the stiffest connection for maximum energy transfer to the ball, while also dismissing virtually all vibrations produced at contact. So the OLS connection is stiffer and basically dissipates more vibrations than the EX, the EXT connection featured on the Cat 8. So, so the Cat 9 Connect is more of an end loaded design. Sorry. I'm sorry. So this one's end loaded? So, yeah. Yeah, the Connect is more of an end loaded design. This is a two piece hybrid, and then you can tell this one is just a one piece because so it doesn't have any of that. So, so that's the Cat 9, not the Connect, but that's more of a. More of a balanced swing, more of a balanced bat. It's a one piece alloy design, so it's gonna be a little bit more balanced than the Connect is. The Connect is almost like the, the power version. So if you got, if it's gain season, you do your push ups, you can get the Connect and get that pop, to get that power. This, I mean, obviously the Cat's, Cat 9 has, has got killer pop. I mean, I, no, I'm assuming the Cat 9 does. We've seen the Cat 8 in action, but I'm assuming it's, it's got incredible pop too. So this is kind of what I was talking about with the Connect. This is what the inner workings of the Connect look like. So it's gonna be a different bat than anything you've ever seen before or anything you've ever swung before. And Chrissy just pointed out that it is, that's a 33, this is a 32. Mm -hmm. So now Mason has something to aspire to in the weight room so he can start swinging that 33 or get taller all the above. Swing it. Well, just like last time, I'm pretty sure Mason's gonna wanna take these bats out right now to test drive them. You wanna go hit? Yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Jack, will you pitch to him? No, I wanna go hit. Little BP? Will you pitch to me? <laughs> that does happen quite often. Mason will pitch to Jack so he gets to test out the bats. Yeah, we all show my swing. <laughs> good. You guys have roast me in the comment uh, section if you saw me swing. All right. I let's, think I'll use this one today. This one will probably make me look good. So <laughs> let's head out, boys. See what these bats can do. All right, you all warmed up, ready to go? Yep. Which one? Which one does he pick first? Going with the connect. Have fun. Time for a bat switch. Go into the cat nine now. Mm -hmm. Have fun. Thank you. You too, I guess. <laughs> I will. A little sweaty, a little tired. Did a couple buckets full of balls. Yeah. And what do you think? I like the one piece a lot. And then the 33, I think I'm just have to, once I get older, I'm, like maybe like in a couple of months, like six months maybe I'd say. I get swinging in game. It's just sometimes I don't get that load or I don't get back fast enough or I don't get it around fast enough. A little big for you. Yeah, but that's fine. Yeah, you'll grow into it. Be, yeah, but it, that bat felt really good. Okay, so but he's the talking one about piece, the connect. Yeah, the 33 connect, when you did connect, it flew. For the Cat 9, did it have a lot of pop? Yes. Felt good? Yeah, it feels good. All right, I'll, that's good. I like the bats where it goes doink. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes if it's loud, There's, it's like, whoa. It's kind of like a wake-up call in the morning. Mm -hmm. Those 8 a.m. games, for sure. Both, <laughs> but, both were good, but the 9, for sure, the regular Cat 9, he 
could definitely get his hands through faster. Yeah, oh. I like the Because when he made solid contact, I mean, the ball definitely jumped. Yep. So, right. I'm tired too. Yeah, it is hot. Let's see, you guys. It was like 100, cloudy. 105 sunny, today. Then cloudy, then sunny. Yeah. When we first got here, it was cloudy. It was really nice. Yep. All right, we just grabbed all the balls, load up. So you guys saw Mason swing these, and then you saw him swing his Victus the other day, but of the uh, new 2021s, what bat are you guys looking for? What bat are you looking to swing this season? Or what bat do you have in your arsenal right now that you're already swinging that you like? So just leave your, your preference down below. Let us know what bat you guys are looking for. It doesn't have to be the ones we, we reviewed, but just the one you like the best. So far, I hit dingers with all of them, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh, please. What are you guys laughing? <laughs> we are back now, all showered, ready to end our night with some tacos. But you guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, comment something down in the comment section. You know I like to answer to all your comments. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.